E aí, pessoal? Eu sou o Luiz e isso é The Global Playlist. It's a great honor to start this extraordinary journey around the world with such an amazing country like Brazil. And I'm very thankful to our guest, Mariana, who you'll meet uh, right after a short intro for visiting us last week. With her, we will have the opportunity to discover more about Brazilian music during the interview. Right after that, we will discover the song she has chosen to represent Brazil in the global playlist. And after that, we will have some fun with the quiz and the secret question. Brazil is well known among many other things, of course, for its amazing beaches, the carnival, its football national team, capoeira, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and for its rich music and dancing tradition, and its vibrant music scene. Samba is the most popular Brazilian genre worldwide, thanks to Carmen Miranda and the carnival. But Bossa Nova has arguably been the most influential of them all in the past decades. And by all, I mean a lot. Like Choru, MPB, Ache, Foro, Maracatu, and others. Most of them tied to a dancing style due to the lively and joyful rhythms. Sounds like fun, right? Also, it is worth mentioning the impact that Brazilian artists like Joao Gilberto, Antonio Carlos Jovim, Xuxa, Sepultura, or Roberto Carlos, to name a few, have had abroad too. As you can see, there's not only folklore in Brazil, and this project is not about world music. So let's discover more in first hand with our guest, Mariana. Please welcome Mariana from uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. Yes. Thanks for visiting the Global Playlist, Thank Mariana. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Please uh, tell us something about you. Okay, well, I am from actually São José dos Campos, which is the interior of São Paulo. And I was born and raised there. Uh, and then I'm here, I decided to make a change. And my family is Spanish, so I just came to live over here. I love Spain. And it's a pleasure to be here with you. Thank you so much for having me. So how is growing up uh, and living in, in Sao Paulo, in Brazil? It was very nice. It's such a beautiful country. It's an amazing country, super big. In my house, I was brought up with uh, a lot of music and a lot of um, different cultures because, as I said before, my family is from Spain, so I had a lot of... Um, I grew up listening to a lot of Spanish music and then uh, my grandfather is Canadian so I grew up listening to a lot of jazz as well and uh, English songs and and then at school I would learn more about the Brazilian uh, culture and that's where I found out about some of the songs and we actually uh, studied a, li a little bit of, of the obviously in history we studied a, a little bit of music as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but it was an amazing um, experience growing up there and getting to know the culture and everything. It's such a rich culture, so it was very nice, yeah. When and how did you start yourself looking for your favorite artist and buying records? When I was about nine, I started going on the computer and looking for, for songs and things like that. and then. I just started like searching for not only Brazilian songs, but also all kinds of songs that I grew up listening to. And then I started realizing what is my favorite genre. And then, um, yeah, and then from nine, nine years old. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And, and could you tell us a little bit more about what genres did you start with or some names maybe? Yeah. I started with uh, jazz a lot. Um, I liked Frank Sinatra and also from like based because I started with jazz and then I, I went into the blues and from the blues I went to soul and then R&B and mm -hmm. then I started listening to I think it was Usher, Alicia Keys. So you uh, definitely started with more international artists mm -hmm. but uh, nowadays what do you listen to or do you also listen to local artists? I really like looking for new artists and stuff like that and now there are many good artists coming up in Brazil so I take some time to listen to Brazilian music as well because it's such a rich um, culture 
and I spend I can spend a whole day just listening to samba, for example. Is there a balance between uh, international artists and local artists in Brazil? I mean, what people listen to? Mm -hmm. I know it's it's a huge country and mm -hmm. it's difficult to talk about the whole country. Yeah. But uh, what's your feeling about it? I think that uh, Brazil really has a lot of culture from uh, the US, for example. We have a lot of um, American music in Brazil. But um, the, the, the artists, they basically take a lot of um, music from the roots of Brazil and they mix it with something else. And, and then there's a lot of new music coming up as well. So it's a mixture of everything. That's actually uh, Bossa Nova, for example, is kind of that example, right? Yeah. It, it takes something from, from samba jazz. and then from jazz. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Which do you think is the most popular genre in Brazil? Nowadays, I would say funk in sertanejo. Okay. Yeah. But Brazilian funk or? Bra yeah, yeah, Brazilian funk. Okay. Yeah. It's, cool. it's completely different than American funk. Completely okay. different. Could you could you uh, mention a couple of names, maybe? Anita, mm -hmm. um, Ludmila, okay. and uh, yeah, I'm okay. not really into funk, so yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I don't no, really no. know many names. That's okay. <laughs> you know, guys, you can listen to those to those artists. Yeah, uh, for sure, they're amazing. They are. Regarding uh, live shows, I visited uh, Sao Paulo uh, a couple of years ago mm -hmm. and I was amazed by the music scene. I mean, the, the, there were artists uh, and bands playing yeah. everywhere at any time, at the bars, pubs, yeah. and even, that really surprised me, even in the nightclubs, instead of a DJ, there was uh, a, band. a band playing live, mm -hmm. a full band. Uh, they were great performers and they were playing like local and international hits. Mm -hmm. And it was great. Yeah. And I mean, at that that really you don't see that that often. I mean, and it's 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 crazy. It's great. Yeah, it's uh, it's very common in the rock scene. You always have a band playing there, and I and that's I also really like that yeah, because it yeah. it creates a whole different atmosphere. Absolutely. And yeah. You end up just being there and yeah, enjoying yeah. the music. It's yeah. a great experience, actually. Yeah. It's a good place to see live shows of international artists, uh, Sao Paulo, for example? Yes. I mean, many artists go to Sao Paulo, Rio and the big cities because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of influence, so they're very known over there. But um, if you're a Brazilian artist and you want to make international music, then I wouldn't say that that's the best because obviously mm -hmm. the, in Brazil we prefer for example listening to the real deal I would say yeah and if you're Brazilian and you're an artist then you should just make Brazilian music. Brazilian genres or, yeah. or fusion or something yes. like that okay? yes Portuguese is one of the best sounding languages mm -hmm. for singing mm -hmm. in the world it's, it's it's true it's like very smooth yeah lyrical and, and fluid mm -hmm. um, is there a big difference between Brazilian Portuguese and Portuguese from Portugal? Yeah, there is uh, because um, it's more or less like the difference in between American English and British English. So it's more closed. The Portuguese from Portugal is a little bit more closed. It's less um, phonetic, I would say, but the grammar itself is the same. And in Brazil, are there many, many different accents? Yes, I mean, yeah. there's, there are many accents and, and some of them I cannot really understand. Really? It's crazy, yeah, because in the north you have the, the, well, the accent that you call Nordestino and then you have the Paulista from Sao Paulo and then from Rio you have the Carioca. From the south you have Gaúcho and all of them sound completely different. It's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. And, and in music you can notice that also? Or, or the artists tend to, to standardize their accent? I think so, yes. Yep. I think that they try to, for, even for example the producers and things like that, they just basically guide you into just having like a, a smoother uh, sound when you're recording a song, for example. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise it would be so crazy. But you yeah. can hear it, for example, in, uh, in Axé, for example, is a genre of music. I, to be honest, I don't know where it comes from exactly, but you can hear the accent of the people singing the song and you can hear it in samba as well. 
and yeah, but they usually just try to smooth it out so people can understand it. So yeah. every, everyone can understand it, right? Yeah. Okay, great. And let's talk a little bit about uh, stereotypes mm -hmm. in Brazil. Any Brazilian know how to dance? <laughs> no, that is a lie. I don't know how to <laughs> okay. dance. I am so stiff. It's a very musical country, but it's not that easy. I tried dancing samba and I tried dancing samba yesterday, to be honest, and I suck. I just can't. So th that's a lie. It's and false. you're not the only one that sucks, right? <laughs> Okay. No. <laughs> okay, perfect. No, many people suck too. Thanks a lot, Mariana. Yeah. Now it's time for to know what song has uh, Mariana chosen to represent uh, Brazil in the global playlist. It's an important moment. Mm -hmm. Right after that, the quiz and then the surprise secret question. Just before that, a short reminder. And we'll be with you in a second. You can listen to the song and all the music mentioned during the episode on Spotify or on the Global Playlist profile. To discover more about the song, you can listen to the podcast on your favorite platform. Visit the website theglobalplaylist.com to find all the info about the project and stay tuned on the social networks. Now the time has come. Please, Mariana, tell us the title and the artist of the song you've chosen. And remember that you have to tell us also, recommend the song in your mother tongue, please. Okay, so the song I chose is called É Tanta Saudade by an artist called Ivy Grace. And eu escolhi essa canção para representar o Brasil porque é uma música que quando você escuta, automaticamente você se lembra do Brasil. Se você já esteve no Brasil, se lembra do Brasil e se não esteve, dá para ter uma ideia, uma boa ideia de como é o Brasil e o que esperar quando um dia você for para o Brasil. É maravilhosa. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mariana. Thank you. Please note that these questions are on a global scale, not only refer to the guest country. And in some cases, impossible or highly unlikely to happen situations are allowed. The purpose is to put into context what we've just been told. The following questions, except the secret question, of course, are standard for all the guests and sent in advance so they can prepare the answers. Are you ready, Mariana? Uh, more or less. Let's okay, go. Let's go ahead. First album you purchased. <laughs> okay. The, the first album was... First one ever. Have okay. to, you, you can't lie, eh? Okay, I won't, I won't. It was Britney Spears, cool. <laughs> In The Zone. Favorite album of all time? I would have to say Frank by Amy Winehouse. That's a very good album. Top three artists of all time? Amy Winehouse, um, Freddie Mercury, and Frank Sinatra. Favorite song? My favorite song, I would have to say Bohemian Rhapsody because it is such a crazy song out of the ordinary and nobody has ever done anything like that and it's such a beautiful, genius thing. So Top concert ever? It would have to be um, Salvador Sobral. Uh, he's a Portuguese artist, he's a jazz artist and he came to Madrid to perform and I went to see him and it was amazing, my favorite. Favorite venue? Um, I've been to Noza Live. It was so amazing, like s many stages and a lot of mm -hmm. music and people everywhere. It was great. Artists you would love to see performing live? I would love to see Queen performing live. With Freddie Mercury, right? With him, yes. Okay. But it's impossible. Yeah, to... yeah, I know, but it, that, <laughs> that's, that's permitted. Okay. Uh, top festival? I would love to go to Rock and Rio. In, uh, in Brazil. In Brazil. Yeah. Perfect. Guilty pleasure? <laughs> okay. Um, my guilty pleasure would have to be this song. It's a Sertanejo song. I have to admit it. <laughs> I don't have anything against Sertanejo, but it's not really a genre that I actually listen to. But it would have to be... Um, a, the song is called Vingança by Luan Santana. And I only listen to this when I'm alone. Or with my... <laughs> Closest friends, because they know me, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. And, and could you tell us uh, uh, what is Sertanejo, quickly? Sertanejo is, I, it's impossible to explain, but I guess I can just tell you, do you know that song, for example, Nossa, 
Nossa, ah, assim okay, você okay, me mata. Okay, yeah, okay. that's sertanejo. It's a whole genre. Ah, it comes, okay. it, it has the roots, and then people just created this new genre, which is called sertanejo universitário, which is like for young people and stuff. Mm -hmm. It means universe, university sertanejo. And yeah, and ah, that, that would okay. be the new one. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So it's like kind of uh, easy listening pop. It's mm -hmm. kind of poppy. Yeah, that's okay. the thing. It's it's kind of a pop sertanejo. That's it. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. And now it's time for the secret question. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Okay, Mariana, I'm going to give you uh, four options. Mm -hmm. You have to choose one. Okay. Okay. Which of these artists would you hire to perform at your wedding? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Carlinhos Brown. Okay. Gatos de Porau. Mm -hmm. Claudia Leite. Mm -hmm. I don't know, obviously, if I'm pronouncing properly. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Or uh, Fofão. 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 I don't know Fofão. Do you um, know Fofão? No. I guess I would say Carlinhos Brown. Carlinhos Brown, desculpa. Carlinhos, Carlinhos Brown. Brown. Okay. Yeah. That was easy then. That was easy, yeah, because yeah. I mean, Hatos do Porão, that's rock, right? That's hardcore, yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm like just imagining how, <laughs> how can they, how can they think, be playing at the I wedding? I think I would go for Hatos do Porão, actually. Yeah, I think it would, be, Why not? it would be either Carlinhos or Hatos do Porão. Yeah? Yeah. You don't like that much Claudia Leite? Claudia Leite, is, is, she sings a genre that I am not really okay. close to, you know what I mean? It's Axé. Mm -hmm. I like it, but not at my wedding. <laughs> Definitely not. And how come do you don't know Fofão? Fofão? I have no clue. I don't know. This kid's uh, guy with a weird face? I know Fofão, but I didn't know he was a, a musical <laughs> artist. No clue. Sings, I don't want Fofão at my he wedding. Sings, he sings great songs at really? uh, his shows. Yeah. Oh my god, no. Just no. the face? I mean, I don't know how that would work in my we on my wedding. I love that guy. Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah, 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 he's amazing. Okay. Okay, well, well thanks well. a lot, Mariana. Thank you so much for having me. It was a pleasure. Yep. Yeah. Okay, good to hear so. I hope you guys enjoy the, yep. the music when you hear it. Let yep, me know. Absolutely. Remember to listen to the playlist, to listen to the song, and of course, listen to all the names that, that Mariana has been throwing uh, during the the interview so there you go enjoy thanks a lot thank mariana you. thank you see you next week bye bye, -bye.